Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shai, all praises and even glory be unto Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham Rakakodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders at Great Millstone who taught us his truth and who rule well, peace and love, say, taste and mercy be unto the hopeful elect. Now, do you ask him that are hazarding your lives to push his truth and to magnify the names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, to herald in the second coming of our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai and to prophesy these prophecies and to the rest of the hopeful elect you believers you akim if you akwatium that believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai with your whole heart mind body and spirit and who are waiting for these last and final prophecies to happen and unfold in the, in the earth and for the return of our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai who's coming back to gather the elect I had a dream about um, three days ago, a very heavy dream dealing with spiritual power. Hey, spiritual power is coming real soon, baby. You know, and in the dream, I saw from three perspectives or three point of views. You know, I saw from two thirds point of view, you know, what you Man, you Jake men, all right, you are so docile. And the only time that you're hard, the only time that you're hardcore, and you bought that life is when it's against your fellow brother, you know. But when it comes down to Esau, all right, when it comes down to, you know, uh, um, the cops or somebody that, you know, this this world teaches you that has authority over you, you, you couch down, man. All right, you couch down. All right. And you don't act hard. You don't act like thugs. All right, you coward out. You, you're just a bunch of fucking cowards, man. But anyways, that was the first perspective or the first point of view. You know, I saw two third niggas on the block. You know, hey, what does the scripture say? <laughs> like uh, bulls. In the net. I want to say that's the book of Isaiah. Isaiah 51 and 20. Thy sons have fainted. They lie at the heads of all the streets. As a, a wild bull in a net. They are full of the fury of Yahweh. The rebuke of thy power. You know, so. They were hanging on a block. You know, and Esau came at them. You know, beating them. You know, they wasn't doing nothing. They ain't say nothing back. I mean, the only one that said something was 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 me. You know, within the dream that I had. You know, and then it kind of jumped. And then I saw Esau's perspective. And Esau was getting locked and loaded. All right, while you, Jake, saw celebrating holidays, while you celebrating birthdays. All right, while you're in the, in, 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 the, in the spirit of, of not letting any moment pass by you, all right, you, you're good timing it. All right, you, you, you're in the uh, uh, spirit of mirth. All right, Esau is getting ready, man. They training. All right, I saw Esau gathering ammunition. He was gathering bow, bows and arrows. All right, he was gathering everything to to get ready, you know, because he was he was getting ready. All right, then I seen a, another perspective. I actually heard men outside praying and praising Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So in the dream, I'm like, that's where I need to be, you know. So <laughs> I went outside, man, and I saw I saw the 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 spiritual power hit brothers like a wave, and you know, by this time it was like dark. You know, and in the dream, it was like a very eerie feeling. You knew something was getting ready to come. You know, and um, I also seen in the dream, and before I get to the point of uh, the spiritual powers, and I seen spiritual power hit brothers, there was an aspect in the dream where I saw people, there was like an outbreak, but it wasn't like an outbreak of, um, you know, like a, a, a dis-ease 
it was like an outbreak of rage, but it was like a plague, if, if that makes any sense. And it was affecting animal and beast. Now, I don't know if the animals in the dream actually represent people in like a brute or beastly state. But you can see the eyes and the eyes look like um, the eyes of the, the, the animals that were infected, you know, and the people that were affected. Uh, it looked like like Venom, like the movie Venom, you know, if that makes any sense, you know, and I saw like a, a weird like horn, you know, like a like an animal and it was threshing through like another animal. You saw blood. Spat splattering everywhere but then when you looked at people they were doing the same thing so that's the reason why i said you know can these these um beasts in the dream represent actual people that are in like a brute or beastly mind state so um as that was going on that's when you know esau was being preparing but then as i saw esau preparing i heard the you know akim outside praying and by this time it was nighttime so you know how the wave is at a football game you know when when a person stands up and their hands go up and then the next person next to them and and then when you're looking at it from a a, a distant pers uh, point of view you can see it, it looked like a wave when people throw their hands up that's how the spiritual power was hitting brothers as they were praying to you how about you know and i saw brother's eyes light up like 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 lamps of of fire you know if that makes any sense like a like a a light bulb all right that's how brother's eyes were lighting up when they got hit with that power and the scripture says um when you go to and this is one of my favorite scriptures when you go to the book of uh first john the third chapter and beginning at verse one Behold, what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of Yahweh. Therefore, the world knoweth us not because it knew him not. But the world is getting ready to know that we are the children of Yahweh by Shem Shai for sure, man. All right, they're going to know. Hey, starting right now, hey, the scripture say, I will give you praise and fame in the place where you will put the shame. The time is coming when they're going to know that we are the children of Yahweh by Shem Shai. Especially when, when the standard is lifted up. When salvation comes, when Yahweh Shai comes and gather the elect, they're going to know. When spiritual power hits men, they're going to know. Reading on, it says, Beloved, now are we the sons of Yahweh, and it doth not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. So we're going to be like Yahweh Shai. All right. When he returns, oh, oh, we're going to get them glorified bodies, man. We're going to have true power. We're going to have real power. We're going to have glorified bodies. And just to grab this, because it says that we shall be like him. All right. And we shall see him as he is. A hey, Daniel. The beloved Daniel saw Yahweh Shai glorified in his glorified state. And he recorded it within Daniel's the 10th chapter and beginning at verse 5. It says, Then I lifted up mine eyes and looked, and behold, a certain man clothed in linen, whose loins were jerted with the gold of, of Euphaz, fine gold of Euphaz. His body was like the barrel, and his face was as the appearance of lightning. Why? Because the scriptures say, Wisdom maketh a man's face to shine. And his eyes as a lamp of fire, and his arms and his feet like the color of polished brass, and the voice of his words like the voice of a multitude. Now, when I read this scripture, I like to exaggerate it. You know, I like to think think of it, you know, in a picture form, you know, and imagine it. You know, so I imagine seeing Yahawashai, you know, in and, and, and his glorified state. And his eyes, you know, glowing up like an orb of light, you know, real bright, you know. And I speak as a man, but I believe that when spiritual power hit brothers, hey, that could that could happen to them as well, especially when they're changed. You know, so 
those are a few scriptures that came to mind based off of the dream that Yahweh Bashmi Awashai blessed me with. Hey, Yahweh Bashmi Awashai is getting ready to lift up a standard. All right, when the enemy comes in like a flood, because there were um, the brothers in the dream that received the spiritual power were fighting people that were attacking them. All right, they um, and there was it was man, there was a lot of people coming at them, and I saw brothers hitting them, hitting people so hard to the point their body turned into dust. That's how hard they that the the person that was attacking them got hit. I saw brothers moving like lightning, and I actually saw actual lightning. I saw brothers with with super strength. And the scripture says this in the book of uh, Psalms, you know, because let me let me go here first and then I'll come back to the Psalms. All right. I want to go to the book of Zechariah. This is the book of. Um, This is the book of uh, Zechariah. All right. The 12th chapter and the 8th verse. And in that day shall Yahweh defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem. And he that is feeble among them at that day shall be as David. And the house of David shall be as Yahweh or be as a power as the angel of Yahweh before them. So when you think of King David, you think of the magnificent things that he was able to do. The scripture says that he was able to run through a troop. All right, so we're going to be like gods with that power that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh bestow upon us. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai The book of Psalms 18 and 28. For thou will light my candle, and Yahweh my power will enlighten my darkness. For by thee I have run through a troop, and by my power have I leaped over a wall. As for Yahweh, his way is perfect. The word of Yahweh is tried. He is a buckler to all those that trust in him. So it says that through Yahweh, King David was able to run through a troop. So that was one man running through a whole troop. And I saw that within a dream. You know, I saw brothers running through people that were attacking them, those people that had that rage inside of them. All right. That was that was running towards brothers. They were they were like zombies, you know? And brothers were running through them like a like a troop. All right, like a like a, a hot knife to butter. So that spiritual power is coming real soon. All right, the scripture says, when the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of Yahweh will lift up a standard. And that standard is going to be that spiritual power. And then later on, the deliverance through the chariot. So this is Isaiah 59 and 19. So shall they fear the name of Yahweh from the west. And his glory from the rising of the sun, when the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of Yahweh shall lift up a standard against him. You know, so hey, that power is coming real soon. It's coming real soon. All right. And his real power. All right. Esau, your, your technology on the left hand side ain't got nothing on this power that the men of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is getting ready to receive. All right, and Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is about to raise them up. All right, the scriptures say also within the book of Micah, the fifth chapter, and beginning at the eighth verse, and the remnant of Jacob shall be among the Gentiles in the midst of many people as a lion among the beasts of the forest. You know, when a, a lion catches a beast in the forest, it ain't nothing that anybody or nobody can do to stop that beast. I remember the video of the Edomite getting um, grabbed up. It was like an Edomite camera dude 
you know, that got grabbed up by a lion, you know, and his family was in the car, you know, and they saw him and they want shit that they could do, all right, to stop him. And that's how it's going to be in that day when Yahweh Ba Shimei Awashai, you know, rises up to the prey, all right, and that time come when it's, when it's go time, and you know what go time mean. As a young lion among the flocks of sheep, who if he go through, both tread down and tear in pieces, and none can deliver, see? Thine hand shall be lifted up upon thine adversaries, and all thine enemies shall be cut off. And it shall come to pass in that day, said Yahweh, that I will cut off the horse, horse out of the midst of thee, and I will destroy thy chariots. And I will cut off the cities of thy land, and throw down thy strongholds. And I will cut off witchcraft out of thine hand, and thou shalt have no more soothsayers. You know, so that time is getting ready to come, baby. So with that, I truly hope that this lesson was edifying. All praises, honor, and glory be unto Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to our apostles and elders at Great Millstone. Peace and love, salutations, and mercy be unto the hopeful elect. A shalom and a bad babal. Kwam bakiyam. Shalom.